you've played a lot of interesting characters throughout your career. Uh, many have been, you know, skirted the line of good and evil. What is about Miguel? What an amazing role. Thank you. I, I appreciate what you say, man, because uh, when we go into a new endeavor and we approach a new character, a new film, we have high hopes in terms of uh, we're hoping to create a memorable type of character, um, uh, something that will stay there in your heart, in your mind. And, uh, uh, and in doing so, I have to, sometimes you have to say no to many different things because they offer you the same character to play over and over again. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and to me, the only way that this, this makes sense is that if, if I have the chance to explore like different uh, poles, you know, and uh, going to entirely different types of characters and genres also. And uh, and I, I, I've been lucky, man, because uh, those characters sometimes find you. Mm. And uh, and this particular character is so dear to me because when I read it, I went like, how the hell do you do this character? Wow. And that's precisely when I say yes to a project, you know, when I have no clue on how to approach it, because then it becomes that challenge that I'm that I'm looking for, that, that represents a risk also. And, uh, and as you said before, you know, so many different characters that I've played before, that, that go into many different avenues, you know, but basically we human beings, we have that duality. We can be fantastic, phenomenal human beings, f f f beautiful creatures, or be terrible, sometimes the same day, sometimes within the same five minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Miguel, Miguel has that because he's been through a lot also, and he has to deal with his own demons, and we don't know that. And I think it's beautiful how Robin you know, conducted the whole thing because that's what we wanted, you know, to create that, first of all, that empathy be between two human beings that don't know anything about each other, that they're just, you know, cr crossed uh, paths and they're there and uh, they're there to help each other and they don't even know that, you know, it will happen naturally. So the fact that this character is so contained and, uh, and so frugal in words and actions and emotions. And then you will discover that little by little through the story. That alone, I was, I was just, you know, I was thinking if we can put this on the screen, then we, we would have, you know, something good. And, and, and as, you know, from the things I'm, I've been hearing, including your words, I think we have achieved that. Oh, you did, you did. And I, I, here's the thing, you know, I just spoke to Robin and she was talking about you as an actor and saying you are, she wants you a part of her life forever now. <laughs> so, I mean, that's, that says something to me that, and I think that's maybe, did you feel that? That chemistry is just glorious on screen. You know, when I met, when I met Robin, I was already happy to meet her, just to meet her. You know, I, I just wanted to meet her and have this chat with her. I, was, I wasn't expecting anything else, you know, and then voila, boom, it was an instant connection. It was as, as, if, as if we had known each other for many years. And, uh, and now she will be my friend forever, I hope, you know. Uh, I will be there forever for her, that's for sure, you know, and we will be connected forever. And of course, you know, it's because I'm playing Miguel, because I don't think you will want to stick around Bob the Mexican, you know, for your entire life when I play the hateful Eight. So I was lucky to find Robin in my life playing Miguel, because then, you know, there's there's a biggest chance, that, a bigger chance that we will stay together, you know, for, for many more years, I hope so. Yeah, well, you're a marvelous actor, and I, I'm glad you're in this world making these movies. So <laughs> well, thank you, sir. You're very, very kind. <laughs> Cheers. Have a good day. You too, my friend. Take care. Bye.